This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 687. Tuesdays, we've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studio in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pro wrestling freaking capital this week, it seems like. Uh, or at least, well, relatively. Uh, but we'll, we'll get into that. We got, we got, we got somebody not here. Somebody in Beacon, New York. He is the only Mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike. And what the hell are you playing with? Yeah, what there? is that? Is that um, Lego? It is a Lego stag Patronus from the Harry Potter series. Oh. oh. Yeah. Um, Seth Rollins is an arsonist. <laughs> Hot takes. Literally. Ha. Mm-hmm. No, like, like they, they, they even said that on commentary last night. And they're like, oh, no, 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 he's not. I'm like, yes. Like yes, no, no, that he man, even, that man committed a crime. He even in one of the 2K commercials from a couple of years ago burned down an entire warehouse full of memorabilia. We did mm-hmm. that, didn't he? Yeah, he did. yeah, like this is a problem. He's a he. He's actually becoming Ralph Wiggum with the <laughs> leprechaun that tells him to burn things. <laughs> Ronnie Starks is with us. Well, he is one of the uh, Triple Crown champions. I'm, I'm right here. What are you talking about? Is it an official yeah, Freebird yeah. role with that? I mean, there's it three is, belts. It is a Freebird. Uh, I am recognized as a champion. You are recognized as a champion. Yes. I so, just will never get in the ring and defend it. So your efforts in defending the championship, whether as a tag or not, are justified as co-champion. Well, if we want to defeat those stupid clowns in a couple weeks, yeah. Oh, yeah, you are fighting clowns. Yeah, fucking clowns. As, listen, so there was a... If, if the last fight society... Um, there was a something of a street fight. There were oh, guys did you ma- post that video? Um, well, it's on the VOD. <laughs> it's on the VOD. <laughs> All right. But um, it's uh, the, the, we didn't post it anywhere else just yet. But I haven't got clearance for that yet. But um, yeah, so this this street fight happens at intermission of Fight Society, and uh, um, and and I we have headsets, and Rob goes out to film it, and it's like I forgot the headset's still on, and I hear just grunting, 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 and then I hear whistles. <laughs> and when you go to the footage you just see like it's dark out and everybody has phone out, phones out firefly style and you just see these reflective vests just <laughs> in a line coming down the eye the, the the alleyway it's it's kind of a impressive sight actually i can't wait to see it <laughs> i so, uh, i kicked that guy in the back really hard and literally i felt his air go out of his lungs we might have to do a re- rewatch of it for patreon then we need to yeah <laughs> so, yeah just just remember when fighting clowns do not stomp on their feet because they wear larger shoes. Oh. Uh, it's true, but I don't think they can afford the larger shoes. Oh. oh. You don't know how small their feet are, Ronnie. I'm just telling you. Should don't... I ask their wives? Anyways, this Clown, is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com <laughs> where you can find links to subscribe to this in the podcast in video form. Also, a new podcast. Mm-hmm. A new podcast is coming up in the wrestling space this Friday. I think this is the first time I've said that part when I've been teasing. No, actually, I tweeted from Indie, May- Indie Wrestling. Um, there is a new podcast starting Friday. Now that I saw what it is, I'm excited. Oh, really? You saw what it is, yeah. and you saw that, that that subject matter is actually really I, well. I mm-hmm. I don't it's know good. what it is. So thanks for keeping me on the phone. Mad Mike doesn't have doesn't have it thanks. because he's not a he's not in the manager level on Patreon. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Get, get, your, get your shit together. <laughs> oh. I told you I have to pay for a fucking wedding. That's right. That's, that's right. That's money. okay. Yeah. We should just run. What's we should just run a, a Patreon for your wedding. Yes. I mean, there's, Can we? there's Indiegogos for wrestling okay. promotions. Yeah, how about there's this? Every, go fund my wedding. I mean, yeah, Everyone go fund my wedding. Pay for my wedding. We'll get a shout out in the vows. Yay! I like it. I like it. I'm in. I like it. Anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I, I said that part. You can <laughs> you subscribe to us. You can email us at good times. Good times. Good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. You can uh you can you can phone us. Please not one of those like 
Japanese machine messages that I've been getting You'll lately. Absolutely, please use one of those. Four one two two zero six WMS zero. Put it in your phone for under drunk dial, please. Please tweet us at Mayhem Show. Please uh, follow the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page and group. A lot of great do- conversation there, uh, including where are we going to meet up before the uh, All Elite Wrestling Show here in Pittsburgh tomorrow? From mm-hmm. any brother. Like, that was a secret for the people in the group. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't say which place. Yeah, I didn't say you know, which location. You know, you know how I don't want to. I don't want the weirdos to show up. Fox I just want all the mayhemers to show up. The true mayhemers in the Facebook group. The people who know the lore. That's right. That's right. Those the, I just invited 700 of my closest friends in the, in the Facebook group. We have 700 people in there. Where did you come from? Uh, all 700 of you know. I came from New York. York, no. it, I came from York. I can't speak for everyone in there. I, 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 I get that. I get that. Wait, there's 700 people watching right now? No, no. Like in the Facebook group. Oh, I, was I wish say. there were 700 people watching right now, but yeah. I think they watch throughout the week or whatever. Or they're just keeping up on our wild. Well, now that I'm on the show all the time now nobody likes me no there you go. <laughs> to be there fair you go. we didn't like you much before you were on the show you're not wrong and i accept that <laughs> anyways and we're of course here live every tuesday at 9 p.m eastern on facebook live a lot of other platforms as well because we're getting really good at this multi-streaming mm. we're like literally on twice as many platforms as we were last week um so hi out there everywhere else but uh, the chat is happening over on the wrestling ma'am show facebook live if you are seeing us live and you don't see a pre-recorded thing in the corner because that's a different feed later mm-hmm. uh but if you are on one of those other feeds and want to converse with us uh after the fact hit up at mayhem show on twitter with the hashtag wms 687 so we can continue the conversation thank you patreon supporters patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show our friends at the fan of show one dollar level Bo- Woo! Woo! As well as at Burke, Bobby F, J Town, Tina Keys, Team Ham, a fist, and at the Pot Key Club, five dollar level is Bradley Brothers, Doc Remedy, Dave Ponder, Kyle Turner, and Daniel Towery. And at the Pizza Club, ten dollars level at a hot thirteen dollars is Ryan Clark. And at the Manager level, uh, twenty dollars is our friends at Occupy prowrestling.com out there on the west coast you can support the show too get some extra content like ronnie starks watching a blindfold match with with uh comedian uh jay cooper a few weeks ago that was so, and great. so much more as we all became fans of xander gabriel mm-hmm. you missed him last week yeah he said I... he, and he did say he appreciated your compliment oh really he did say yeah, yes. i like him he's a nice guy yeah uh, so i just wanted to see jay and silent bulb reboot a little more I was like, man, so mad because I couldn't see either one of them. Oh, they all so sold good. out. It was so good. So uh, I'm just going to go see Jay and Silent Bob reboot with Kevin Smith. Yeah, that sold out here too. So uh, ah, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why I got lucky and got to see other yeah, ones. Yeah, we had Fathom events in town last week. And yeah. It's going to be in theaters. Yeah, I'm, I'm soon, doing though. that and somewhere. a Penguins game in the same week. It's going to be great. Oh, well, are you coming down in a couple weeks? All right. No, I'm <laughs> no, not. A... The Penguins are going to be in New York. Yeah, they go up there. Oh, They're coming yeah. to see me. <laughs> when does the hockey team ever come to see you, Ronnie? I mean, I live like 10 minutes from a hockey team, so that's that's cool, I that? guess. Have they come to see you personally? No. They don't know me. So this is the most exactly. wrestle week ever um, here in oh, Pittsburgh. Yeah. We do a no, wrestling we show. That. There wasn't even a pay-per-view. Uh, well, no, no, no. So uh, th- 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 personally, this is the most wrestle week ever. And and for a lot of us here in Pittsburgh, WrestleMania. Uh, listen, okay, uh, we we started with we started with our friends at Renegade Wrestling Alliance, in which we saw a surprise James Ellsworth, as well as Buff Bagwell, as well as G Raver, as well as CMLL uh, star Sam Adonis. Sorry, Ronnie. Um, <laughs> as well, <laughs> you didn't have to throw that out there. <laughs> It just it just goes with it. Not, not everybody uh, does. <laughs> so anyways, um, as well as uh, uh, KSWA, which was like ten minutes down the road on Sunday, uh, and we got to check out. A few of us uh, went up to uh, Rock Cleveland last night. This show tonight, more wrestling. AEW here in Pittsburgh. Wrestle Rex here in Pittsburgh on Thursday. Choke Slams doing a wrestling event on Friday. Uh, not wrestling, but like talking wrestling more at a bar. Uh, and then we have, of course, Angel Gate on this Saturday. So wrestling everywhere this week. Uh, so um, I mean, I I think I'm catching like two days of WrestleMania throughout my week. Like, <laughs> guess is, what is shows like I great? talked into going to this week. <laughs> so. <laughs> We'll see you. We see you next couple nights, Ronnie. Uh, you never know. You might get booked on one of them. 
I mean, it's working out so far. <laughs> yeah, so. Sam and Donis is going to call me to come work his fucking show. <laughs> so anyways, anyways. So uh, there's a lot going on here, and I forgot where I wanted to go with it this first segment. Uh, but uh, we, we, we did have Raw. We did have AEW uh, last week. And I, so I feel like everybody is up in arms with AEW for one reason or another right now. Actually, I feel like everybody's like up in arms, pissed off. It's a really pissed off week in wrestling. People are either pissed about Shorty Gable, uh, Lana, Bobby Lashley stuff. That's terrible. No, no. No, Sorg, it's Lana. Lana? According to Jerry Lawler, who watches the product. Why is he calling her Lana? Lana? Because he kept calling her Lana. Why is he even back on on television? Is my fucking issue. Yeah. That's a very good question. Um, Or or Marco Stunt. People need to shut the fuck up about Marco Stunt. He's awesome. Yeah, he's he does look like a small child fighting Pentagon, and that was a little yeah, weird. Yeah, that's to me. the whole fucking point. Rey Mysterio yes. was like ten when he fought the Big Show. But I mean, uh, come on, so we are beyond, and we and and disclaimer: Rocket we, Raccoon fought Thanos. Ooh, if we can accept that, we can accept. So we're saying Marco Marco's son is Rocco, Rocket Christopher Raccoon, Games. and Pentagon is Thanos. Yes, I track with that. Yes, I'm with this. I understood that reference. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes. Now, am I going to be kicking grass with everybody so angry? Because don't make me kick grass. Because you know? <laughs> uh, Rock could kick grass in the first grass. Oh, that's right. Movie. That's right. Um, now, now we're all standing. I think we're just... There, there's so much wrestling. Bunch of assholes standing. There's so the much circle. wrestling. Plus, plus, there's Rumble in the Desert coming up next week. Um, <laughs> and What? And, <laughs> oh, Saudi of fucking Arabia. Ha- Halloween panic. Halloween panic. You know what the best part about that show is? I'm not going to watch it. Live from yeah. parts unknown. Um, Live from parts unknown. Uh, Live from a shitty country. This yeah, is Saturday yeah. night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Thursday afternoon, actually. But yeah. um, it's, it's, thurs- it's Thursday. Afternoon. Oh no, I have to work. That's a shame. Mm. Yeah, so do I. Oh no. But anyways, <laughs> so like we're we we it's here, peak wrestling. Yeah. It's like four nights a week now, Ugh. and we it just means we're mad about more. Are, are we just are are the super wrestling fans just more salty, or probably probably all of the journalists that are tweeting about it because they have to catch up with all of it. Well, that's their job is to catch up there. That's true. It? They that's sign true. up for that gig. They're like, hey, we're going to be journalists to professional wrestling. So I guess we will go to watch every fucking product. <laughs> Even though we're going to hate it and criticize it, but we're not in the business. But hey, we're still going to criticize it. Like me, I'm going to sit here and criticize professional wrestling. That's right. And not even I fucking mean, we watch all it. criticize professional wrestling, don't we? That's sure. what podcasting is for. I just contradicted <laughs> myself. <laughs> everything I just said. That's okay. Wrestling's full of contradictions. Oh, this is true. Truth. Oh, some more great names for that show next week. So, Sorg, let's talk about all the women's matches from last night's Raw. Okay, and? Let's break them all down, and we're done. We Wait, did there was, see. There was none? We did see. There was none. Um, we, we did see Zelina Natalia. Did one move. We saw Natalia and Sarah Logan on main event. And a lot of videos with Becky Lynch in it for the live crowd. Yeah. With no Becky Lynch. No, Becky Lynch. So, yeah. did Saudi Arabia come earlier without any uh, women's matches? Um, there was a lot. There were a lot of people in Australia for whatever. Oh, reason. that's right. Yep, the Iconics were in Australia, that's so good right. for them. So that was happening. So mm-hmm. it, it does seem like. I mean, maybe this is just the you know we we have like when they show the rosters, you're yep. like, my God, how are they getting all those people on TV? And they're not. And they're not. And the answer is, well, we need to we need bodies to fill. Like, I mean. A lot of us see Monday yeah, Iconics Wednesday. died so Sin Cara could live. <laughs> Who has probably been doing all the house shows for the last like six months and not being no, on TV, he's right? been injured. Yeah. Oh, he has he's been injured. Been, okay, well there injured. you go. Is it still? Uh, yeah, what's I, I his learned that Camacho, through a Camacho? video. Yeah. Of Kevin I was literally Williams. during his match then we're like, he's come Camacho, Camacho. Well, if he has that tattoo in his arm, then it's clearly Camacho. Yeah. Oh yeah. He is Hector Macho Camacho. <laughs> Well, which is also a great name that he should use. Why don't they just take the whole Sin Cara thing away from him and just let him be himself at this point? Um, nobody because nobody can take Sin that Cara shit masks, seriously. No, Sin Cara masks sell. Mm-hmm. But no one can take that gimmick seriously anymore after the original. Little kids you know, do. Yeah, you, you, after Mastrio you fucked know, everything up. You know how, you know how like, you know, Joe, Berga- Joe Dabrowski shows up and just has wrestling masks or other wrestlers just show up with wrestling masks? Yeah. WWE is doing that, but they have to have a wrestler behind the mask. 
Yeah. It, like the, that's why they have. Trust like, me, as as someone who worked at Toys R Us, I would ask little kids who their favorite wrestlers were. A lot of them said Sin Cara. Um, Be, like, and I don't think they ever saw him wrestle. It is, except uh, maybe like, once. Remember, like. The kids aren't necessarily grasping onto our Brock Lesnar John Cena's at the top of the card. Mm-hmm. Like to them, it doesn't make a difference. Mm-hmm. They see Lucha Lucha House Party come out and flip and colorful and doing their mm-hmm. thing, mm-hmm. and that's the thing that's going to gravitate towards them. Plus, my, half these my, kids are on YouTube favorite. and can just sit there. Like maybe they're not sitting and watching Raw; yeah. they're just watching. They're watching Col- main event. They're watching. They're they're on YouTube watching Lucha House Party matches, yeah. or Bailey, or or Sin Cara. You know, you know whoever they gravitate towards. My, you know, my favorite little child I ever saw at Toys R Us told me his favorite wrestler was Pentagon. I'm like, whoa! God bless you. How old was he? Seven. I was like, God bless you. Your parents I, I just, raised I just, you right. I shook the hand of the parent. I'm like, <laughs> you're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Well, Pentagon is the shit. So. Hashtag yes. parenting goals. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, but I mean, that, that that is, I mean, where we're at this kind of peak wrestling thing, like in, in you, know, you know, talking to our friends at Slice today, he was like, how are you going to do this? There's too much wrestling. It's going to be like. I'm just like, yeah, there's too much wrestling there. There's too much wrestling in like this city and, and in Cleveland and in other cities, you know, I mean, but everybody is going to pick teams and pick one or two and that's what's going to happen. And everybody's going to find their audience. Mm-hmm. There's always going to be somebody like, like literally there, there, there is somebody who thinks that this promotion is the best ever. And then somebody else is looking at him and saying, mm, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Like, I like this one over here. You know, yeah, yeah, because uh, spoiler alert, I haven't watched a full episode of SmackDown since it moved to Fox. Oof. Oof. Just yeah. haven't watched it. I, yeah. I've watched snippets here and there. And I have and, not watched and, it. And I feel up. like I feel like as it moved to SmackDown, it became less for you, Mike. Oh yeah. It, well, I mean, I, I I like um like I want to see your manager Bailey. That's all yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it was it's seeing the Bailey situation, which you know, I still counter that to some bailey um going rogue is like hogan telling uh hulkamaniacs to stick it in 1996 Mm -hmm. there were reaction videos of oh yeah they showed them they showed one of them on the uh, didn't they show one of them on smackdown when she was slicing the yeah yeah Yeah, it's just like just kids like just going nuts because bailey is the bailey is their hulk hogan yeah bailey was really the thing yeah i love heel bailey like the only (laughs) thing that could be worse is if John Cena came out and he said hustle, loyalty, and respect was all to get him in movies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the that's the only thing. Like there is like, somebody, and thank you all for financing Bumblebee. Like like if he just told there everyone is like, to stick it and say I wanted to be the next Hulk Hogan so bad I needed to endear myself to you fans and now I can just sell out and make movies. There is there is mm-hmm. a fan out there that is 14 years old now that grew up on it just like I grew up on Hulk Hogan that hit and I hit 1996 and I was probably I think I was 15 at the time and Hulk Hogan stuck in and it just crushed me. <laughs> right? Like mm-hmm. somebody like somebody that is the same thing. We don't see cuz we grew up in whatever era, right? Yeah. But like it's completely there. Um, but it's just there's so many opportunities for so many different Hulk Hogan's yeah. for these kids. I grew up and I loved Randy Orton. I grew up and I loved Triple H. I grew up and Sork, I... Sork, Sork, Sork. No one said they grew up and loved Randy Orton. Do you hear when he comes out, man? People still like Randy Orton. No, Dude. People, lo- people love the music and the arcade. <laughs> that's literally it. Well, that's enough for some. So, you know, I hey, five moves of doom, man. No, no, he doesn't even have five. Hmm. He doesn't even have five. Mo- Trust me, I've counted oh, them. Same. Three of them are headlocks. And by the way, as I'm sitting here in all green getup, I feel like I'm dressed like John Cena tonight. Hey, you need to calm down. <laughs> I'm really color matched and bright. So, mm-hmm. you know. Michael You're very sucks. Fruity pebbles-y. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I am the John Cena of this show. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, what was it? Bailey looks like a Karen. Can I speak to your yeah. manager? <laughs> it's true. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, that soccer mom haircut. Can I speak to your manager? I, I, Absolutely true. I did. I did. Really looks like someone trying to use an expired coupon. 
uh, because we were so close to production last night, <laughs> I did hear one of the crew members saying, um, just when I was so happy we got rid of the Bailey buddy, something, something, something. And I think it was the Sankara. It was right after the Sankara um, um, jump or something. <laughs> and it was just mm. like, it was like, oh, that's hilarious. Um, but because I'm sure those are a bitch to set up. Yeah. Um, also, there's no like, there's no like uh, uh, pyro droids like there used to be. Like there's a lot of setup when they go to do pyro out there now. Yeah. I am so oh, yeah. happy Pyro is back. Yeah. Like I was just cackling with in, with joy when the raw set was uh was was doing the thing. Like they had the string the string things and everything, the string like firing, <laughs> you know, the string, the string, the, the there's, string there's, there's thing. Things. I, I yeah. string thing. You know, there's things goes, in that place where it's out all string the time. And it goes yeah, up the yeah, rope yeah, and goes those, pow, all those little things. Pow. Like that's my impression. The string thing. <laughs> Under underrated snack from the 90s. Uh, like, Underrated? Oh. No, no <laughs> underrated snack string thing. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, it's because you're a fetus. <laughs> ah, I, I, think he's, I don't think I'm like, like 35, dude. I, yeah. yeah, I don't think he's as young as you think he is. Yeah. All right, well, then, then you have a shitty memory. Uh, well, I, I mean, mean, well, well, I mean, you you have been in the business for a while. I have hit no, the head. You've been hitting the head too many times. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember what I did yesterday, let alone what I ate like 20 some years ago. Well, that's a problem. Fair enough. That's a problem. No, it is, but. Don't tell anybody. That's why. That's why he's so into uh, 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 toys because it reminds him of all the stuff he forgot. I just opened a bunch of stuff the other day. <laughs> I opened up all my Marvel Legends and they're all like displayed now. Nice. And that was like two hundred Marvel Legends. I went. Jesus. I feel like we did. You do an wow. un- a massive unboxing video. Uh, I will tag you in a picture on. Uh, I feel like on uh, Twitter. There needs to be a comparison between uh, your collection and uh, and Bobby's uh, pops. There, there's no that. collection there's there's no comparison bobby can literally like bobby has actually started a habitat here for humanity but he only builds houses in funko pops that seems right that seems, <laughs> like he could he literally could. are they are they all the funko pops that no one wanted to buy like all the shelf warmers yeah mm-hmm. when i walk into a store that's just lined like the entire store around the top with funko pops i think oh this is like bobby's house <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand how somebody can like Funko Pop so much. They're I'm literally the worst. Hey, everybody! Hey, listen, hey, man. Hey. Some people don't understand why you like you like pro wrestling. Yeah, uh, uh, it's the worst. <laughs> 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 Especially after hearing us on a show like this, right? Uh, uh, everybody's like, oh, but honestly, this. honestly, guys, I'm having fun this week. Yeah, I'm, I've enjoyed. I've enjoyed about everything that I've seen this week. Uh, in some aspect, I'm making new friends uh so it's it's good I, I met the uh the former lead singer of mushroom head last night oh that's awesome dude. that was fun nice. that was fun i was wearing i sport my john mcchesney shirt and he's uh gonna be in uh mcchesney's corner uh thanksgiving eve in erie at revenge pro oh, shit. against that uh diabolical jackson argos oh, <laughs> canada dry himself canada dry t- by the way sorg i have stopped supporting jackson argos i now support sweat Schweppes. oh there you go. So I'm we need no a, longer, we I am need no a longer character. Canada Dry man. I am a, I am a Schweppes man. I'm going to change really my good. name to Ronnie Schweppes. Ronnie Schweppes. Yep, that's my nope. name. Nope. No, no, that's, French that's character. not going to happen. This is all, everyone. No, I'm Ronnie Schweppes. <laughs> that? Uh, that wasn't French at all. I don't know what that is. That's hey, bad. guys. You know, there's a lot of wrestling out there. Wrestling. And wrestling. One place you can get even more wrestling and especially see what's going on here in the Pittsburgh and the in the Cleveland area and the West Virginia area. Indie All that stuff. Net. Indie wrestling. What? Indie wrestling dot net. Not dot net. We don't dot US. Dot US. Indie wrestling. Or indie wrestling dot, dot network. Yes, that's what I meant. That's I'm, obviously. I mix them both together. Don't go to indie wrestling. But don't net. type what he said. Yeah, I don't know what. Uh, well, <laughs> there used to be a thing. Are you, what? Ronnie oh, does. Ronnie no, 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 still we don't talk about, plug things. No, we don't talk about indie wrestling dot net anymore. <laughs> um, that's that. That's in the past. Ugh. Those nightmares are gone. Oh, thank you. And Lord. we're just talking about indie wrestling dot network because you can have some positive, uh, some positive. Hey, hey, Wrestle Rex is coming up Thursday here in town. Yeah. And uh, why don't you check out the precursor to that? The uh, Lucha Pittsburgh that occurred right across the street from here at Sorgatron Media studios here in beachview in pittsburgh in that parking uh, lot? right in that parking lot right over there oh. was lucha pittsburgh and the ultimo dragon and speaking of sincara the original sincara the original mystico wait ultimo dragon was here yeah ultimo dragon was here dude I, really you don't know this when was this this was like a year ago in september 
This is every third plug Sorg has done for the show. Dude, like yes. Ultima year. Dragon is like one of my favorite freaking wrestlers. Of well, all then time. you can get a free trial to IndieWrestling.network and check out when he wrestled in that parking lot what? right over there in a six man tag, along with, uh, uh, what was his name? El Bandito, uh, 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 Old James. Of NXT. Oh boy, I love. And uh, he was hanging out. Hey, he hung out right here in the studio. They turned this into. This was a locker room, wasn't it? Yes. Well, it's kind of turned into one because I'm like, hey guys, you don't have much room. Go across the street. So yeah, it was pretty weird and full, and everybody's watching Steelers games. Uh, But it was a lot of fun. But that's not the part that's on there. (laughs) So go check that out. Um, uh, You know, I think it was stuff we posted. I don't know if it's in there, but there was a a beast man in in a bounce house. Uh, there was, what? there was, uh, 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 David Lawless getting, getting, uh, punked out by Shocker. Uh, so there was a lot of fun stuff there. Is it, is that the one where, uh, Beastman licked that kid? Is that I, that yes, show? Okay. Yes. That's the one. So I knew that show was a thing. I just didn't know Ultimate Dragon was here. You didn't know it was... <laughs> That would have been a completely different story. I would have came here for Ultimate Dragon. Man, well, you didn't, you were not listening to the show where we talked about it every week at the time. <sighs> now we know where you were at. No, I listen to the show. Apparently. <laughs> I'm really mad at myself right now. Really you have to respect the lore, sir. That's right. I, I know, but now I'm never going to see Ultimate Dragon live, and that was probably my only chance to see Ultimate Dragon mm-hmm. live. Right here. Fuck. Yeah, right that, here. I mean, yeah, it's your own fault. I've seen Ultimate Dragon live. Did you? Yeah. Where'd you see them? WrestleMania, at? WrestleMania 20. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that when you tripped on the stage and I'm a smell? Mm-hmm. Mm. I've seen Ultimate Dragon live and Liger live. Oh, wow. Juice and Thunder Lager. Oh, their Storm Collectibles is coming out the Juice and Thunder Lager figure. We're not plugging that right now. We're plugging Indie Wrestling Network. Sorry, but I'm totally it's buying okay. it though. <laughs> no, like Juice is the fucking man, dude. Yeah, I absolutely. pop when he took his mask off. Uh, you guys, uh, coming up, RWA Bloody Harvest. We just mentioned with um, uh, Buffa Daddy himself and uh, G Raver and James Ellsworth popping up on there. Uh, part of Indie Wrestling Network later this week, as soon as we finish that edit, and uh, coming up on VOD at Indie Wrestling US and our friends that um, I know have been talked about in Cleveland a bit. UXWA, part of that Premier Championship Wrestling out of Cleveland. Uh, new shows going up there all the time. And uh, more content from Premier and Prime Wrestling, including some uh, some of the best of an early career of uh, Johnny Gargano is happening. Oh, Johnny Gargano! Sorry. Oh, yeah, that Johnny Gargano guy. Well, I was listening to Gregory Irons podcast, uh, and uh, and he was talking about the early PWO days, and it's it's the stuff that we talk about, that we show on that Prime cuts uh, from Joe Dombrowski. Uh, so that's part of that. A lot of stuff. Just discover great wrestling. And we are in works for some new original content coming up on the network as well. So stay mm-hmm. tuned for that. So, all right. Hey, I have a concept. Ronnie, I think I, I think I pre-gamed you a little bit on you this did. one. Yeah, yeah. So, Mike. Yeah. Let's have a t- discussion. Okay. I think there's a lot of wrestling. Sorg, I am inclined to agree. I think I think we are specifically watching a lot of wrestling. I don't have time for it. All. Let's just take this step by step, okay? Uh huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think, and and and, and different fans are going to be at different levels with this. I mean, I'm watching different types of wrestling. Yeah. Huh. Okay. You're with me with this. Yeah. Huh. Hot oil wrestling. Got it. <laughs> I. No, it's Turkish oil wrestling, and that was actually a really interesting interview we did on Indie Mayhem Show. Oh, we're talking about different things. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I was like, is this all a real thing right now? I think that's a Pornhub story. Sure. From yeah, I, Katie, Katie put me on. Am oh, I going to get my Pornhub achievements? <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing with the achievements? Oh, I do need them achievements. <laughs> yeah, no. You're like, oh, lay out the challenge. I guess we're doing this. <laughs> okay. Um, challenge accepted. <laughs> for you, it's Pornhub. For me, it's Mario Kart Tour. You know, you each their own. S- same thing. Yeah. Sometimes both. I'm using my hand either way. It's, it's fun. <laughs> it's, both of them are one-handed activities. Oh, um, like, what the oh, fuck is this show <laughs> Uh, this is typical. This Everybody's is... like, "What the fuck are they? Why are they talking about jerking off?" <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, back to wrestling. Speaking of things losing feeling, um, <laughs> fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Uh, too many. So I think things. what is happening. I can't get to that point now. Uh, <laughs> 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 Losing feeling in my arms. I think. I think. Like, I'm. I'm afraid that we're getting desensitized to wrestling. Oh God. Oh, I. Because we are. Because I. Like I. I'm sitting here watching a lot of wrestling, 
I'm sitting here in person watching a lot of wrestling. Uh-huh. And in in and wrestling we know, Ronnie knows, mm-hmm. that most of most most of us, you know, uh, Ronnie knows. Mm-hmm. Um like this is something that people are literally killing themselves for. You know, yep. it's uh you know, what's CM Punk say you're you're throwing yourself at the mat, you know, 20 times a night or something like that, mm-hmm. right? Like and we're watching this and it's in the background and it's just another Monday night. Or it's just another indie we're catching on YouTube, or it's this or that, and we're watching it like we're watching any other soap opera. Mm-hmm. And I think like that detachment is concerning to me. Partially also because I'm going to some shows and I'm watching kids in the audience like playing in the corner when there's wrestling happening in front. And of they them. don't care. And they don't care. Yeah. Right. There's like that's not exciting. I'd rather play wrestling over here than watch these guys actually do this crazy stuff over here in the yeah. ring. You know, and this is this is not any specific. Like, I've seen this at a couple, mm-hmm. couple different indie shows, right? And um, it's it's, I don't know. It, it, I don't have an answer. It's just an observation, and I, I'm afraid that you know this devalues a little bit what we're seeing and 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 the impact of it. Like I feel like a lot of a lot of complaints. I was talking about you know we were talking about like journalists are well they got to see every show so they're they're gonna find something and they're just already mad because they got to watch. Yeah. 12 hours of wrestling every week and they know they're oversaturated with it right so you know what does that become you know is this is you know were were fans already there we're just like oh this is a thing that's happening and they know how to fall and we're, they were just not even thinking about it yeah but we all talk to you guys see it you know n- kind of have an idea of how it works mm-hmm. you know like is that concerning uh, yeah, because you know when we go to shows now, there's even the fans are kind of like, well, okay, so yeah. we're here, and you know a lot of places you don't get reactions on anybody anymore. They just sit there and watch. Yeah, like nobody cares. Yeah, and it sucks. And I think that's why all these guys think they have to do a bunch of flippy crazy shit and almost kill themselves to try to get some kind of reaction, and yet they're doing it, and people still don't care. Mm-hmm. Like things, well, yeah, things have picked up in wrestling, but mm-hmm. not in a good way. Mm-hmm. Like it's just it's not working out. Sorry, um, you're good. I I think a lot of the thing is, especially with WWE, like main product WWE, even little kids are picking up on the formula of it now. Okay, and that's not good. No, no it's no, not good no, because no. like, like the the whole reason we watch wrestling is for the spectacle for mm-hmm. the. Unpredict, like they always say, anything can happen in WWE, but we know that's not true. Yeah, because, like, and you see all these guys do amazing things, mm-hmm. but they're never rewarded for it. Mm-hmm. Like, when was the last guy who did crazy death defying stuff? Like, really, really crazy stuff be rewarded with. Like the main title, the last guy I can think of is Jeff Hardy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The last guy I can think of that really does stuff like that and gets rewarded for it, like after years of like bumping, like like a fucking animal, is Jeff Hardy. Because mm-hmm. like Ricochet, you're never gonna see him win a world title. Andrade, never gonna see him win. A world title. I like to hope that he would because Andrade is yeah. amazing. Yeah. No, but like, and like Ali, like Ali, if he didn't get hurt, maybe that would have happened. Mm-hmm. Wasn't supposed to happen though. Like, was I, don't it? I, was, I don't think we don't was. know. Yeah. Like that, that real story hasn't no. come out yet. I, I think not, a, not that I've heard any. I think he was a placeholder. You know, he was, he was, I, but, but then what was the plan going to be for that WrestleMania? Mm-hmm. It was uh, Daniel Bryan's versus Kevin Owens. Likely. Yeah. I don't yeah. know about that. Not great going in, no. it, but that was the plan. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I mean, they they had their idea how good it's going to be six months before when they plan to do it, right? So, um, it, it's you know what was it? Who was who was saying when they were like, "Oh, we're going to have you take on Sheamus or something this year?" It's like, yeah, we've done that, and it wasn't. Yeah, like dude. why would we do that again? You know, Daniel or Bryan. whatever. Like when Daniel Bryan like ended up doing the Bella Thirty, like he was getting some like, oh, you're just gonna have a match with Sheamus. It was like and lose and like and lose seconds. and whatever. Well, you I know. was there for that. And I was pissed. Yeah, but yeah, yeah like but the yes like, movement started the night after. That's right. That's right. The the people who 
who we want to see get reward don't get reward. Yeah, you know? you, and that's the other thing. Because like you, fans you are... call it a soap opera, but yeah. usually a soap opera, there's like a hero's journey. Mm-hmm. So while there, we, there's an there's an end game in mind. While we talk there, about the, like, well, we talk about the kids that are gonna like us in car no matter what happens, right? Um yeah. there's that. But then there's there's people, you know, if you play this as a fan and you're enjoying it, buying into it as a fan, and you're behind somebody, you know, what happens when you're behind the Pittsburgh Pirates for the last thirty years and nothing happens? <laughs> Look at the arena. Well, I'm so so last night's a perfect example when mm. rollins is wrestling everyone's chanting we want wyatt yes yeah. very okay. strong by the way by the way cleveland crowd is one of the hottest crowds that i've, I've been there mm. right but um here's... it's it's crazy it's wild and i'm saying this as a pittsburgher the cleveland browns had the coolest spot for uh being shown on raw because one dude was dressed completely like scott steiner and came in without a shirt off and chain mail that's why it was like like he walked in that way and <laughs> and then i saw he was one of the browns i'm like that's awesome like, um, i can't even hate it yeah no but, not even a little bit no. not even but a little like, bit but, but i hate the this thing team, is so. <laughs> like people want wyatt but if you do bray wyatt like they did at hell in a cell and like they've done on the dark matches after raw they're going to stop wanting Wyatt because he doesn't win. Well, and well, he doesn't okay, win. Okay, they, they, so people you, want to see Bray Wyatt rewarded yes. for the awesomeness that he is bringing to the table. Yes. If you have like, even if you're watching like Supergirl, guess what? Lex Luthor hasn't has an episode where he shines and beats the shit out of Supergirl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like he gets that victory. He gets that win. This has always been the problem with Bray Wyatt. Because mm-hmm. they don't know how to book it right. No, they do. They just refuse to. I don't understand why they're not doing it, though. Like, everybody wants Wyatt to win. But yeah, they're like, huh, just kidding. We're not going to give you what you want. Yeah. We're yeah. going to make up some bullshit excuse and piss everybody off. Yeah. And, and move it on to this next show that nothing's going to happen because it's 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 a weird spot show in the long run, right? Yeah, um, was he getting a title and, shot and, in Saudi Arabia? Uh, yeah, and the, yeah, last man standing. Does. Last man what standing. What if he fucking wins in Saudi with the, Arabia? With the ast- He's not going to because the, they're on different shows. Last man standing with the asterisks cannot be stopped for any reason. Yeah, so in other words, he's going to get pinned. That's yeah. bullshit. They're literally going to make him lose clean. Your biggest heel and the best character you have, and you're going to make him lose clean. Something like that. That is fucking Something stupid. like that. I mean, and, and the writing on the walls for that. If you watch enough wrestling, well, it's a it's a last man standing match too, so it can it's also last man be, standing, yeah. So both men can be counted. Yeah, so it's not a yeah. pin. It's not a pin. He can uh, shove him under a forklift or a pyramid or whatever the fuck they have in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Fucking pyramid. <man. laughs> I don't know. It's the uh, desert. I don't know how they work out there. I don't think they have pyramids there, dude. I'm pretty sure they don't. They no, that's Egypt, bro. Like no. Shit, I won't fight a continent. Okay. Fuck. No, no, same. Yeah, same I mean, con. they're they're all you know. It's it's all it's. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> wrestling. We can't we can't take it there, man. <laughs> we just can't do um. It. By the way, can can I just say how not impressive Cain Velasquez looked? Last oh, he looks like shit. How did that come off on TV? Because he did oh, not, not well. look. He did not, <laughs> not look well clean in all. person. So, although, did you what hear? Um, could you guys hear what Shelton was saying when he was pushing Ray? No. Uh, <laughs> no. 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 Okay. What did he say? Okay. So <laughs> Sheldon Benjamin deserves all the championships. Uh-huh. He deserves all the championships. Uh oh, it might be false count anywhere, according to Chris. Okay. All right, but either way, that there's you can have some kind of double pin or something. Yeah. Um yeah. You can, get but, a, uh, you, you can get inventive with this. Mm-hmm. There yeah, will not be can, a lack. Can have a no there will be no have... lack of shenanigans. And I hope the red. By the way, we got a cage match last night, and they used the red lights. Yep, a dark and match or just... as the dark match. Okay. And yes, it is fucking annoying to watch in person. Yep, mm-hmm. you can't see anything. No, it is rough. I put a video up. I think it got blocked by WWE on on the on the Facebook. But I think it's still on the Mayhem Show YouTube. I think did I put it on Manchester YouTube? Yeah. And um you can see uh, I was fascinated by the setup because I'm you know, I'm I, when Raw sucked for when Raw truly really sucked, like I really enjoyed the live for show. For three and a half years. Yeah, uh, for, <laughs> for a while, right? Where you go to the show and I'm not enjoying the show. Yeah. I just watch the production monkeys, right? 
Mm-hmm. And in this case, the cage was covered, and I didn't realize there was a cage up there. I just thought it was part of the arena, right? Because yeah. they have an insanely large, like, widescreen in the middle and everything, and all this kind of stuff hanging. And it was like, they said, it was a steel cage. I'm like, where's the steel cage? Are they going to bring, like, the house show cage and build it? And it turns out they covered it with the cloth, and they brought it down, and they took the LED panels like, off of the surprise. post. And it was like, so there's it was like a Megatron cage. Megatron and Dark of the Moon. It <laughs> was like, oh, my God, it's actually a cage. And, <laughs> and yeah, listen, man, I marked out for the cage setup. Okay, mm-hmm. that's where I'm at with shows. Uh <laughs> But then they turn on the red lights and like, oh, like, oh fuck! Oh. But they did okay, all the production. So, Anyways, they were back to the point. So Shelton Benjamin. Shelton Benjamin. Um, so you guys couldn't hear what he was saying when he was pushing no, Ray. no, 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 no. All right. So the first time he pushed Ray, he's like, "What does that get me? An Intercontinental title shot?" Oh no, we did hear that. We did. Oh, okay. So good. So, like he literally went through the progression. He's like, "This title doesn't mean anything. I'm gonna push you again. This title doesn't mean anything. I'm gonna push you again." Did he start like, with the twenty four seven? Uh, no, no. He started with US. I think. Okay. <laughs> Who's but, the Intercontinental Champion? Uh, that would be. Oh, this Shinsuke. will be fun. Let's see. Yeah, oh, let's get sorry. Started. Yeah, because, yeah, no, no. You're well, right. because Shinsuke came out first thing on on SmackDown and defending against Roman. And actually, that was pretty and cool. It turned into a non finish. Oh, yeah, it turned into a non finish in a, in a forum. You know, I don't give a shit, Mike, because you know what I got? I got Sami Zayn slam dancing the Shinsuke's music before he even came out, and now he's going to be throwing the devil horns up, rocking out the Baron King Baron Corbin's music. I am in. Match results don't matter because we already know that because of SmackDown. True. Mm. Gotta find your joy where you can, Mike. Log that. I guess. I guess Marie Kondo. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe. Does this match spark joy? No, but the entrance does. I can throw the match away. In the in in this in this world where we have too much wrestling, at some point we're gonna need to remove it from our lives. We're gonna have to say, SmackDown, thank you for your service. And put it away. You do not spark joy. <laughs> Monday Night Raw. I don't know what pe- other people do on Monday nights, but I'm going to find out. Thank you for your service for 30 years. I'm putting you away. AEW. Sorry, we're never putting away Raw. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Someday. It, it's we, become muscle memory. It has point. become muscle memory. We have a... Sorg, Sorg, we've we've watched. Well, no, you haven't, you haven't even because you no. took a break. I started I've watching watched, Raw since ni- in 1998. I've watched 1,376 episodes of Monday Night Raw. How many hours of my life have I wasted? In the last week. <laughs> in the last week? <laughs> That's hashtag Raw like it's your job. <laughs> oh, God. Ronnie? But, yeah. <laughs> I think I You're... watched way too much as a kid. Yeah, uh, but yeah, as a kid. But, you know, and again, we're just like, I can... I, I mean, the times I have not watched Raw live, I mean, could be a handful. I'll be honest, mm-hmm. I yep. haven't, I haven't watched I WWE may, programming since WrestleMania. I maybe missed three Raws a year. Really? The, there was even a time when I was working nights and was not on this show. <laughs> I would find live feeds of Raw while I was sitting in a clean room suit at IBM watching raw that's not a joke who's the super fan now (laughs) that's not a joke like i was sitting in a cloth paper bunny suit (laughs) with goggles on just like the intel commercial right exactly going Mm -hmm. like this fucking (laughs) raw just cursing at my laptop it's like why am i watching this shit i got chips i mean at least i got paid for it then yeah because you know i was at work but yeah still it, it, it hurts. It hurts sometimes. I love. I love. People are loving my my excitement over the cage last night. You didn't hear my excitement over the pyro. I think. I think Rob has a video of the pyro, and I'm sure you hear me just yelling over Sorry. it. No one could hear your excitement over the pyro because they all went deaf. That's right. By the way, second of all, um, I think you you're worried about Jerry Lawler being on TV and on a microphone. I don't think it'll last very long because he is very close to that pyro, guys. He was like. Very, very close to that pyro. I, they I'm okay with it. Are at the top it. of the stage? There's, yeah, they're if sitting bringing the back stage. the pyro is a low-key way of literally taking Jerry Lawler <laughs> off TV forever, 
I think board. they're setting up for uh, McMahon's millionaire style uh, takeout of Jerry Lawler with like I, Seth Rollins like pyro. I'm still okay I, with this. I ain't even mad about it. I just and by the way, the warm up is nice is when that fire goes off. But um, but man, I I think you know I don't know what those jackets are made of for Jerry Lawler. Anyways, we've evolved and devolved uh, in this conversation. Probably not as bad as the first segment. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> But mm-hmm. I don't know. Let me go. What do you guys think out there? Like, do you think like, do you feel like, you know, uh, you know, you're you're devaluing what is in the ring, the impact of what's happening in the ring, you know, literally and figuratively uh, with all the wrestling going on. And is that carrying uh, over to like when you're watching live wrestling, when you are obviously because all of you support your indie wrestling wherever you may be. Mm-hmm. So I, I think the thing is, if you ha- like the reason we watch is because we're hoping for something to grab us. That's right. I mean, I, well, I think like, I think most of us have been watching Ross as the '90s do it because we remember what Raw was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, but and we're, we're waiting though, for like, those moments again because we're trying to support the people that we enjoy too. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. like Ray Rowe, uh, Eric uh, came back in uh, Cleveland last night, and I, exactly and I, as I tweeted, it was, it's good to see Ray Rowe murdering people in Cleveland again. Mm-hmm. Did so, they win the tag titles too? They won it last week. Did they? So they were. It was their yep. first defense. He owes me a title shot. Yes, nice. uh, he owes Mad Mike a title shot. Mm. Uh, he was. They were defending against Hawkins and Ryder. Oh, that's cool. So, uh, it wasn't a title match. It was not a title match. Well, there was a match. Not a title and match. And they had belts. So yeah. and also, one of, by the way, one of the Bollywood boys. I can't tell you which one because our truth can't either. Uh, so he's now. <laughs> keep me with the gag. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I know. Is a no, 24... I, actually, I said the wrong one on purpose. Oh, good. <laughs> um, uh, is now 24-7 champion and survived the night. So we'll see wow. We'll see what happens with that. So um, also... Um, I, I really hope the 24-7 title goes to 205 Live. Uh, can we do fin- front of the show shout out to Mambo Italiano? Sure. Who showed up not only um, apparently trying to get a good dinner in, uh, in Cleveland last night. Mm-hmm. Uh, that that went south, and uh, he also was one of the I'm going to call him Rosebuds because I don't know what they call No Way Jose guys. Uh, so the No Way Joseers, the Hosers, the No the Way Hosers, the No Way Hosers. Hosers. Okay, uh, yeah, he was he was out there and in a tutu, and um, that was and uh, now now he belongs to Mojo Raleigh. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes, watch main event this week. Mojo Raleigh stole the Rosebuds. And oh, I think boy. it's like to me, it feels like a super villain henchman play. Okay, I dig it. I dig it. So, anyways, and Mickey James is on commentary. Oh, nice. That's what I learned. <laughs> so, um, yes. So with that, I want to give a shout out to our friends supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni and pizza here in Pittsburgh. In Beachview, Carnegie, PA, East End, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. I know somebody started a job uh, last week, and they sent me a picture because they happen to be a couple of doors down from the, our East End location. And not ours. Theirs. Slice on Broadways. I mean, it's like home to all of us, so can say ours. Uh, <laughs> wherever that may be in town. And, of course, I know a lot of you are all over the place. I'm looking in the chat room seeing our friends uh, up in the Seattle area in Kansas City hanging out in uh, L.A. Uh, and, of course, there's not a slice on Broadway uh, really outside of Allegheny County and Pittsburgh. Uh, so uh, help them with their global expansion. I mean, they only w- were lo- one location up the road here, and now they've expanded so far since they've been. Uh, we've been talking about them on the show. So please take a picture of Broadway Avenue in your town. Tweet them PGH on the slice on the Twitter and say I would like a slice on my Broadway. Uh, and if you're in town, please support our friends. Let them know the Wrestling Mayhem Show sent you. I know so many of you have. Mm-hmm. I hear about it. And, you know, even even the Beastman has. That one got a little messy, though. <laughs> so check them out. SliceOnBroadway.com. Support uh, friends that support this fine, fine podcast. <laughs> this classy, classy podcast. It is. <laughs> Guys, you're going to hear Katie talking about some other stuff we do around here. And we'll be back with the big question. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Did you know this is a wrestling ever show? Owned a wrestling! Yeah. Oh, that is, that is a thing. That is a thing. 
we were talking about we we're talking about wrestling, and sometimes it gets a little uh, wearing on you. Where's your Vince McMahon puppet and, at? We need yeah, your, where's your Vince? McMahon? We need the savior that, right now. It's at work, isn't it? Did you, did you leave it at the? Oh offices? no! It is completely. Oh there no! Is. Oh no! It's you know what? This, this wonderful show, this show needs more puppets. I need to buy one of those. Shut up! <laughs> We need to have a puppet mm-hmm. off. I'll get all the other puppets, and you can I just have our own fun house. I was so I'll sp- fire him. I was, lo- I was looking for the puppets. Are they gone already? I didn't see them at the at the merch stand. What? what no, the they sold out real quick. Yeah, yeah. But they're still on the website, right? Yeah, I think they're 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 online still. Oh yeah, you can get them on the website. I need Rambling Rabbit. I want to turn Rambling Rabbit into a heroin addict, and then like just like make really bad jokes. See if anybody gets offended. I love you. He rubs his he rubs his hands very good. Like it, it's like the perfect like. Well, murmur, murmur. it's because uh, I don't know if you know this. I am a master puppeteer. Okay. Well, Years of working at Toys R Us. Is that is he? That, he has experience uh, with I've hands. I'm very good at it, Sorg. I'm not good at throwing my voice, but <laughs> but hand stuff he's good at. Oh, the show. Yeah. Yes, I am, Sorg. Good yes, grief. I am. Oh fuck! By the way, that we are in the show now. Uh, <laughs> good so grief. we came up with a question. I'm still working on the wording of it, but um, we were. We're shouting out to our friend uh, Ryan Mitchell. Uh, that hey, on the show, we'll shout out to officially um is getting deployed out to uh with uh, with the uh, armed forces here. Yes. So uh uh and 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 part of Ryan Mitchell was he's one a guy with our friends at the Renegade Wrestling Alliance and uh he came out to pour some sugar on me. He's still like it, it, we heard it every month for so long <laughs> and uh you know sometimes you're in like a Marshalls or something and then it comes on the 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 radio like, you know and and then my wife and I look at him and he's just like fucking Ryan Mitchell. You know <laughs> No, just just hearing the music every month, right? So, is there anybody that you've heard like the music comes on? You know, with probably an indie guy because that's going to be generalized music, right? But yeah. I don't know. Maybe there is something that that from WWE or somewhere else that you you still hear in rotation. Maybe it's a WrestleMania theme. Actually, probably there's a lot of WrestleMania oh, themes. God. That, actually, that's probably everybody's answer. I is, wasn't even thinking of WrestleMania. Let's theme. just everybody pick music. big time and move on. <laughs> <laughs> So what is what is the wrestling music that you say you, you hear in the wild and you're saying MF and whatever? Let's well, stick out uh, again. Big time's already ba- about the yeah, table. Big uh, time's <laughs> off the table. Anything from Florida? Yeah. Welcome to my house. Oh. Yeah, that song. Oh, there, there was a time when uh, my work used to play a lot of. Uh, uh, Morris Day, you know, Jack Bullock's theme song, all right? Okay. So his theme song will come on of on at work and all here is din, 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 din. Mm-hmm. So I would just like start strutting. I'm like, yeah, Jack Bullock's music's on. Everyone's like, what are you dancing about? I'm like, yeah, it's fucking Bullock's music, <laughs> man. That happens a bit. Um, I get confused when I'm at two different indie shows and like uh, Golden Sheik's music, <gasps> Justin Idol comes out to it. Does he? Yeah. There's a guy. I'm like, this is a really good song. Why do I like it? And it seems familiar. Oh shit, it's Golden Sheik. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, he that uh... I can't tell you what the song is to help anybody else out. No, go, go check it out at Indie Wrestling Network. No, it's great because like I heard it when I was out in Ohio and I got all excited because he, like, he was on the same show and I'm like, oh dude, your music's playing. He's like, that's not my music here. And I was like, well, that's awkward. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or how many people come out to, um, um, oh, well, the one Shine Down song. Wait, there's probably a lot of Shine Down songs. Oh God. Yeah. Okay. Here's okay. I'm flipping the question. What is the song that you feel is overused in indie wrestling? Anything Disturbed? Yeah. Every, <laughs> everybody loves. Uh, something by the way, disturbed. sorry, Wardlow. <laughs> I'm sure AEW paid for it. So I, don't, probably, I don't think they're using it. No, oh, no, no, no. I guarantee AEW. He, he, he's used... he hasn't even debuted yet. Of course they No, no. It. And whatever it is goes best with slow motion. Let's be honest. Yeah, by the way, why hasn't he debuted He's going to debut tomorrow, He's going to debut here, man. Yeah. Dude, he's like he's on Instagram saying, who needs tickets? Yeah, he's literally, yeah, literally. going to tickets away so everybody can somebody come see his uh, debut. Literally. Like, this is basically, despite being from Cleveland, this is his hometown. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're all going just to see him debut at AEW. Well, him and Britt. Yeah. In general, you know. Yeah. See Britt on the back of a truck. That'll yeah. be, I mean, I saw her sharing it on Facebook earlier today. Uh, you know, so. at least some people don't need to spray paint AEW on the side of a building to get attention. I don't know what that's about, Ooh. and I'm not going to pontificate it on here. Uh, so, I don't I don't know. Uh, Whoops, what, I said that out loud. No, nope, nope. Uh, and, uh, but anyways, um, 
Damn, I got to edit this. Uh, so, no, it's fine. Uh, but anyways, back to music, guys. <laughs> um, all right, so I have I have one Jeez. that I think yes. I can speak on. It's not mine, but I know like um, and this isn't in the wild. It's just when it happens. Mm-hmm. Um, I know it doesn't matter if she's watching or not. Whenever my fiance hears the first chords of Lacey Evans's music, oh, the first oh. thing I hear is. Oh, that bitch. <laughs> First thing I hear every but single man, time. But man, it I'm evokes like, a reaction that's great. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Her music is um, so annoying. I I think I think mine that I've heard in the wild. I have two. Um, anytime I hear a commercial, use either the old Hardy Boys music oh, or the old the Martin- time. Or the old hardcore Holly music. Yeah, because yeah. both of them were just like royalty free music. They're public you could domain use. now. They're public domain now. Oh, no. I think so. I don't Wait, know. That means I can but, use it for anything. Yeah. Probably. But um, the actual song, and I do hear it in the wild, and it makes me just cringe. And I'm going to do one chord, and you're both going to be like, oh, you're, you're going to shudder. Are you ready? Mm hmm. Seen in a Hall of Fame. Uh, yeah. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, people that just popped in for that part. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, the Hall of Fame it's... song is pretty rough. Uh, Tina's in the chat room saying, uh, not a mainstream song, but voices, uh, Randy Orton's theme, groan in stomach turns a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's that too. We, we have heard it for a long How about, time. I can feel it in my bones. That song they use at WrestleMania? I... Was, I don't know what that one is. The CM Punk versus Undertaker song, and they played it all the time. Oh no! Oh yeah. no! I no, they didn't. Know, they didn't overplay that one nearly enough for me. Oh, they they played it every week for like six months. Wow. Yeah, yeah because that's, I mean, a lot of times it's like, man, I'm glad it's paid. Yeah, but it, I I think I probably blocked a lot of that out because then there was the real life death of Paul Bear. Yeah. yeah. And that I think that I think that just and they started forward. incorporating it and it got a little weird. And then CM Punk yeah. poured the ashes over his head. Mm, I popped yeah. for that. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I was a big CM Punk mark. I mean, so is Cleveland apparently. Did the CM Punk chance come through? They need to stop oh, that. They, they sure need to shit stop did. that shit. It's stupid. The only way he's coming back is to do that thing on Fox. He's not it's coming bullshit. back. Well, it, it's it's a yeah. I'll we'll do the show with Tyrese, right? Tyrese is that the guy? Uh, <sighs> No, it's not Tyrese. Tyrese is the guy in the Fast and Furious. Like, you're right. You're right. Titus? Ty- Tyrus. Titus. Tyrus. 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 Oh, Funkasaurus. fuck that guy. Yeah. I, fuck Tyrus. I made the mistake his first time on Fox. I was like, hey, I'm used to be a wrestler. And, and they're showing stuff. I'm doing this thing over on this Fox Nation thing. It didn't yeah, dawn on me that. Congratulations. I am never going to support you. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 I didn't realize that Fox Nation was Fox News. And, oh, yeah. And it didn't dawn on me. And then people told me about some of the shitty stuff that was going on. Then I Googled oh, them. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shit, man. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. was not cool. The, uh, fuck a, the fuck a source. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's so, so that was a unfortunate <laughs> move. So Dude, Naomi would be the best one out of that trilogy of people. Yeah. <laughs> right? Wow. I don't know if I should agree or like I... feel bad about that. Or... <laughs> like, what? I could do the old. Eh. I'm not even sure where I was even going with that kind no, of. Thing. No, oh, I mean, no. you know, she she's okay, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. She's a me yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best song impression. Oof. Um yeah, I the... <laughs> yeah. 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 Um also, um Oh god, and I know there's a couple out there. Whenever a wrestler comes out to a saliva song that was used in WWE. Oh, that's just lazy. It's just they just it's just bothers me so much. You might as well rip off the whole gimmick. I it's like I don't even yeah. know who's coming out, and sometimes it's people I know. It's just like, oh fuck this guy. <laughs> so when you're coming out of like superstar, it's like, ah, oh, come on. Yeah. You know? Uh now, unless you're coming out to like the theme from WWE superstars and that's your gimmick. Sure. Okay. But it was just like, all right, we don't have anything for you, so here's some generic music mm-hmm. from a show that isn't really a show anymore. Hmm? Superstars? Oh yeah. 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 Um, speaking of which, it feels like uh, Rob had a comment when uh, Humberto came out and was it Sin Cara 
Uh, they both seem like they're coming out to uh, create a wrestler music. <laughs> yep, that's because no one knows what their music sounds like. Because nobody, yeah, they forgot, and there's nobody making music anymore that anybody likes. <laughs> so, because everybody left to retire. Well, no, there, there is. It's just all of that music is on NXT. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. We're just using Slipknot for everything now. It's amazing. Uh, it's amazing. And Poppy. And Poppy. Slipknot and Poppy and NXT. Um, welcome to Paul's world. Yes. Do we, do we just imagine, like, do you think, do you think, um, uh, 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 Triple H's, Triple H's workout mix is just, um, Ace of Spades, uh, Slipknot and Poppy. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> no, it's just Ace of Spades on repeat. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not like the rest of, not the rest Ace of Lemmy of stuff. Spades. Yeah. Just, that's it. You know, I, do you feel like the personal production height of Triple H's career is when they actually did use Ace of Spades for a pay-per-view song? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Although, you know what? You know what song I hear in the wild that just makes me smile? Nas's Hate Me Now. I actually like that song. You can hate me I, No, I, I like that song. But now it has a even a better connotation. That was The Miz. That was The Miz. That yeah. was The was- Miz main event. At WrestleMania, that was that yeah. was fucking made that for me. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh my god, that was like, my first WrestleMania I ever went to. It, it's I still say that's legitimately the best video package that they've ever made of all time, mm-hmm. and I'm including like Lust in Your Eyes and and well, uh, even the Austin and Rock My Way, like Taker Sean Taker Sean Michaels placebo. Yep, still. Included. I mean, that, I mean, that's top top five for um, me. Mm-hmm. Triple H, Sean, I will fight till there's nothing left. Somebody, like, somebody that, out there, I'm, we need a thread in the group where everything we just mentioned needs to get put in a thread. Yes, by the YouTube way, YouTube links like, to all those songs. YouTube links to all Mrs. those packages. Hate Me now promo mm-hmm. was my favorite. My God, like that is. That's that may be the height of WWE in yeah. the last ten years, in the last ten fifteen years. That may be the actual height of it. And at a time where 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 generally they weren't too hot, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, it was definitely kind of and, the, the. And the best thing is, Miz won that match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the finish may have sucked because he got concussed. Yeah, but and overshadowed that match. It overshadowed by the Rock setup, right? Yeah, a little bit, yes, mm-hmm. but. Miz won that match mm-hmm. because, like, if you if everybody going into that WrestleMania, oh, John Cena's winning. Mm-hmm. Like da 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 da, Lol Cena wins. Everyone yeah. said that. height of Lol Cena wins. Mm-hmm. Yes, but Miz won that match, guys. <laughs> that was that was the last real that. win for us. I think, think about that. Think about it. When uh, when Raw was in Pittsburgh the week before WrestleMania. You guys remember that? And Miz presented his version of the WWE title, but it was just a replica. But the M, the W was upside down. down. Yeah. yeah. So uh, me and my friends were hanging out that because uh, they'd always go to the hotel right across from the uh, the arena. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're like, "Hey, let's go over there." And I'm like, ah, "I don't want to go over there and like stalk wrestlers. It's just fucking stupid." Yeah. So they're they're like walking around, and I'm hanging out in the hallway. Miz walks past, and I was wearing a awesome. Miz t-shirt you know <laughs> so he's just like hey man nice t-shirt and i'm like oh fuck it's the Miz." i'm like oh hey man like I, I got really nervous for some odd reason and i was and i was already a couple years in the wrestling and i got nervous about me and the Miz. like what the fuck <laughs> like, i was i was kind of broken after i met frick's fire really i'm just like nah i'm good yeah i'm good <laughs> so uh it was, was use my cell phone to leave a message for the mayhem show mm-hmm Nice. Yeah, we got a shout out. We got a wrestling name show shout out from him. That's awesome. I need to start running those in the shows again. Hmm. Hold on, I'm making a note. The producer's do out, guys. I went home sick. Do uh, I have to? Uh, do I have to stalk AEW guys tomorrow and make them record messages for uh, <laughs> Mayhem uh, show? You absolutely should, but just make it Pentagon and Phoenix. I'm on it. Oh, have fun with that. Have fun with that. I'd be like, yo, remember you know that place you guys changed at? You know, <laughs> like I, I, I work there. They got, no, they weren't. They weren't on that show. Oh well, I'll just make that them was, think they that were. That was WrestleRex. No, it's fine. They'll think it's, it was. They won't know. Yeah, no, they fuck won't it. Know. Yeah, they'll be like, yeah, sure, let's do it. Yeah, last time we were in Pittsburgh, we're in this weird, weird uh, dive bar in the, on the south side. They'll, they'll either cuss me out in Spanish, or they'll be like, yeah, let's do this. It's, it's gonna be one of the two. Okay, but let's see how fun that is tomorrow. Hey guys, there's a lot of wrestling. 
<laughs> no shit. <laughs> And a lot here in Pittsburgh, and it's hard to keep it straight sometimes and make your wrestling plans and figure all that out. But we got a solution for you. We have it over at PittsburghWrestling.com, and we're even throwing in a little bit of uh, extra stuff. Uh, so whenever whenever the local wrestlers get in the media, like our friend Shirley Doe in Esquire magazine. That's cool shit. What? Yeah. Find out what that's about in his, uh, his uh, Facebook post about it over on pittsburghwrestling.com but we got a great event calendar over there and you can find out all the wrestling coming up in the next couple weeks <laughs> including all the wrestling wrestle rex uh and uh even next week we got ring of honor and uh side note uh programming note we will have the ring of honor television champion shane taylor here in the studio next friday in uh advance of that so a lot of stuff going on. We're starting to fill out the calendar already for 2020, so you can start making your wrestling plans and find out if your favorite wrestling company has uh, completely scheduled a show on that vacation you've been planning, uh, or whatever the case may be. Oh, you want to go on vacation? You're oh, you want to go on vacation? Wrestling. Fuck that. I got to go to Rise in February. Uh, <laughs> so, with a Y. Uh, so, go check it out over at... Uh, PittsburghWrestling.com. A lot of great stuff. A lot of great stories over there. A starting point for Pittsburgh Wrestling uh, for you guys in the area. I just realized this panel is broken back here. What is? What happened here? What's going on? That thing's been hanging there for a while, what man. What is that? Studio's falling apart. You know, just noticed happening? that? Yeah, I just noticed it on the camera. What is? That thing's been hanging for about a month now. Get? Come on. We need, a, we need to get a staple gun uh, that has not been used on Daniel Hooven's forehead and... Uh, <sighs> Yeah, we'll take care of that. Okay. <laughs> it's been like that for a while. Yes. Yeah, bitch. It was like that when I was here uh, October 1st. I'm, be- I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Sorry, if it makes you feel better, I can't see it because of my ankle. Right there. It's over there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, can't, I, was, I, I would have told you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's uh, <laughs> might be like you gotta fix that. Uh, let's get a little duct tape. It'll be fine. Get a little duct tape. It'll be duct fine. Tape. Woo! Woo! Wow. <laughs> duct tape. Wow. Wow. I understood that reference. Wow. Is anybody considering canceling our WWE Network for Disney Plus? Yes, <laughs> I did that about eight months ago. Where the fuck <laughs> you, you know? Did preparation. <laughs> now that hey, you know what? You can get Dis- You can get Disney Plus, ESPN Plus, and Hulu with ads for twelve ninety nine. In you, you you can watch Raw and SmackDown. Look, that's oh, not, yeah, that's oh, true. Shit. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm still I'm not going to watch it. I'm throwing Actually, that it becomes there. If you're a core cutter, that's a that's a wonderful complimentary Ooh. to your WWE network. I am going to get that combo package because I also found out that I can watch out-of-market Penguins games on ESPN+. Plus. Oh. Um, well, we're getting into that. No, actually, yeah, I prepaid three years of Disney+. Plus. I... The only reason I didn't do that so was because I. I want the I want the bundle. Yeah, well, I kind of wanted the bundle too because I know there's going to be stuff on Hulu I want to watch. Runaways in February, yeah. and uh, um, I, think, I, don't know, I need to catch up on Runaways. Mm-hmm. I guess we're getting very interesting in season two. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. I'm going to watch a lot of Disney movies. Uh, and and they canceled uh, Ghost Rider that they're going to do already. Yeah, yeah. They didn't get what, off the What they ground. canceled Ghost Rider? Yeah, that's why I hear. Wait. Ghost Rider or Ghost Rider? Ghost Rider, not Ghost Rider. That, that's something completely different. Well, Ghost Rider, they're, they're also coming out with a rebooted Ghost Rider. Really? I, yes. Not something I that's watched. why I was asking which one it was. <laughs> Welcome to the We Don't Give a Fuck part of this wrestling podcast. <laughs> to be fair, we don't want to talk about the big show that's coming up. <laughs> what do you, what the fucking big show? Exactly. Rumble in the Desert. Oh, yeah. Life parts Halloween of Panic. By the way, when was that Cain Velasquez match made a WWE Championship match? I think what? right off the bat. Right off the bat. Is he going to win the title? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Well, no. Well, he's not going to win the title, but I don't Jesus, know. that is. He if could. I was no. everyone on SmackDown, I would be pissed the fuck off. No, he could. I'd quit. No, I think he could. I'd be like, oh, AEW is all right. Place. He's like, hey, uh, what's going on down here, guys? Oh, and there, there is a bit of sad news to report. Hmm. Uh, Xavier Woods injured his Achilles, maybe out months, oh. months and months. Well, at well. least he could put a lot more content on his YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, <So>. but <laughs> a lot of that content is just gonna be him. Yeah. You know what I want him to do? I want him to. I just want him to stream Crush Hour. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> just like, hey guys, just rehabbing and playing Crush Hour. 
Uh, hey, get those, all those guys. Brock Lesnar has a twisty. Rockets. Listen, all those guys living in like Tampa or Orlando, anyways. Like he's gonna have a lot of friends coming up. Yeah, you know, no like, one's gonna oh, forget it exists. Oh, him and yeah. Tyler Breeze are going to do a lot of stuff. Yes, yes. By the way, who was it? Um, I believe uh, our uh, trophy boy Tyler Klein doing a great uh, Breezango. Uh, for that, uh, were, that gimmick battle royal at what? RAPW, RAPW, fantastic. were you there for that? I was not, but I'm going to be there next month. Some good pictures, and uh, the good guys were uh, who we just the Dudley boys. Yeah, we're Dudley. Well, the other good guys, not you. You were part of that too, but well, that Dudley thing is going to be coming back soon. Nice, so. nice, nice. Uh, I I forget how much I love indie wrestling in October. <laughs> so it was uh, and there was a costume contest. I do have to shout out. Um, our friends um, that came, went as high energy at RWA. That is really cool. That's right, really dude. Cool. They killed it, man. It was. It was. It was I. Nice. They right. got. And they got second place to the referees. Why would referees? This is get something. First place? I don't know. And the fix so, is in, man. So NXT traditionally for the past couple of years has done a Halloween battle royal. Yeah. Is that why Brazango ripped my gimmick off? I hope we get that on USA. Ooh, or ooh. like I don't, I don't think, I don't think we're gonna get it. I hope we get it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I would like, cause just imagine a twenty minute battle royal with everyone dressed in weird costumes. What if they brought Halloween Havoc back for one night? Uh, because yes. we're already doing Halloween Panic. Who's Halloween Panic? That is the how the, awkward the rumble in the desert. How awkward that's on Halloween. Would it be oh, if they had Halloween themed anything on that show? In parts unknown. Uh, well, they already have the fiend Bray Wyatt there. So. Somebody yeah, needs to generally. dress up like a Jesus on that show. That's that's really that'll get that's over. Really pissed that that'll off. get over. Um, no, no, that that would not be a good Actually, idea. Actually, that would probably be a really really bad idea. I mean, that'd be a, that'd be a, I'm a, I'm in. You know what? A, Jerry Lawler should do it. That would be. Uh, hey, that'll get him off TV. That'd, and that'd life. Be a, that'd oof, be a good oof. move for him. Uh, somebody's getting their head chopped off that day. <laughs> like, do you like you kind of expect something to go south with these, right? Like you always hear like well, <laughs> plane ride from hell and things like that. Like somebody's gonna get out of line. In, in I, just, I hope for it. They're bringing Ric Flair. Not hope, he can't does, hope does for Does he it, know but... that's a dry country? Mm. Uh, well, he'll find a way. Life <laughs> always finds a way. <laughs> <laughs> just like how Ric Flair has outlived all of his peers. You know who's going to survive the apocalypse? He's Rick also Flair outlived all of his beers. Yes, yes. <laughs> I heard he tore into a fan for, like, on the show or something like that. Oh, he's yelling. He, he was, oh, he there was to some random fan. At he was saying something about like your mom knows me or something. Oh, <laughs> like, on the, and I think he was live on the air. So yeah, Fuck yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. He was like, he was like, "What's your girlfriend think about that?" I knew your mom. <laughs> I was like, "Whoa!" Oh. And, and this just goes back. Everyone <laughs> over forty should be off wrestling television. Uh, Every one of them. Hey, at least Ric Flair was bothered to show up and didn't have to Skype in from his beach shop in Clearwater, Florida. No, at, no, Sorg, he didn't know where they were. He didn't know where they were going. Mm-hmm. He did. He barely knew who Drew McIntyre was. He was very excited about his his. his I physique, thought though. he was going to say <laughs> Drew Galloway. Can we say? Can we back up a moment and just say how much I love uh, Drew uh, doing the Hogan? To the crowd? Did he? No. Oh, yeah. No. He did a lot of it while they were advertising what was coming up. There's just Drew going Hulkamania wild in there. Yeah. Is he part Sword? of Flair? He's of part the, of Flair. Okay. He's part of Flair's team, so they were making fun it's of It's the him. channel changers all over again. <laughs> okay. It's McIntyre, Lashley, and fucking Corbin again, and yet somehow their characters are all shittier. Mm. I don't know how that was possible. I'm behind King Corbin. Yeah. I'm thinking it. He's got a cool look. He's got, you know, uh, Corey putting him over in ridiculous amounts. You know he's going to get the WWE title sometime. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. Well, Brock has it. Mm, oh, no, not, not, no, no. The Universal title. Not any time. Not, no, he's on SmackDown. Sometime in the future. I'm not saying like this year, but I feel like they're just like, yeah, we're going to drop it on Por- Corbin. No, he's going to win money in the no, bank. Like, like, again. Right, the think about again. it. Yeah. Fun. Legitimate question. Legitimate answer. L- looking at the SmackDown roster, yeah. mm-hmm. who can beat Brock? Sammy's Roman in. Roman Reigns is not an acceptable answer. 
Not going to matter because it's tied up with him and Cain Velasquez until okay, WrestleMania. Okay, then who can beat Cain Velasquez? Cain Velasquez not. and Brock will be tied up until WrestleMania Nobody with the title. Nobody wants that. And you know who wants yep. it? Fox. You know who wants it? Fox Sports. You know who, likes, who wants it? People that pay for pay-per-views. It, it's going to happen. It's got the public interest. It's going to be all over Sports Illustrated. This is, again, like we were no talking about. No one knows who the fuck Brock Lesnar is. Uh, like these things, he's no, 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 no. Ask someone who is not a sports fan. This is not what we were talking about. We're talking yeah, about no, you. No, They're fans. saying uh, Brock Lesnar is one of the biggest stars outside of wrestling that they've ever had, and that's categorically not true. No, they're, they're talking about UFC. They're talking about awareness from UFC. Yeah. Okay. Ask someone who's not into combat sports. Ask a baseball fan if they know who Brock Lesnar is. Wait, 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 wait. If you're into sports, I'm not a sports watcher. Somebody help me out here. If you're into sports, if you're watching uh, Penguins games on ESPN, are you not getting advertisements for UFC, whatever the next pay-per-view is? Brock hasn't wrestled for UFC in 10 years. Right. How long so Kane, he's not relevant there. How long has Cain Velasquez been? Cain Velasquez, not, he's not a big star either. Mm-hmm. That's my point. Okay. That's that's my entire point with this. Okay. Okay. Becky so, Lynch so, is a bigger star than so both wait, of wait, them. So wait, 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 wait. So you're, you're, making, you're trying to make the point that he's not a, quote, big star. No, he's not. But as far as UFC goes, if you are a follower of UFC combat sports, does that matter? Oh, sorry, my bad. And if if you're sitting there and going to tell me, let's turn, turn down your radio. No, I got it. It's down. <laughs> sorry, guys. If you sit there and tell people, you know, it, you know, perception's reality in this, right? You know, if you're like, hey, that's the guy from UFC, and we're like, oh, I've heard of this UFC thing. I don't yeah, watch but, it sure, because I'm a wrestling fan. If you just go fan. to a random sports bar and ask someone who Brock Lesnar is, mm-hmm. they're not going to know. I think it's going to be bigger than you think. And also, I want to I've see. I've done you. it. I, what? I've literally done it. Like, while watching baseball games and football games and stuff, people don't know who Brock Lesnar is. They assume he's a wrestler mm-hmm. I love just by Mike. looking at him. I love that Mad Mike's doing wrestling surveys during baseball games. I do. I get bored. <laughs> it's during commercials. Um, no, because it's a theory I've had for a long time that, like, mm-hmm. oh, Brock Lesnar, biggest, the biggest star outside. I'm like, no, he's not. Mm-hmm. He's not on boxes of Golden Crisp. No. He, he, because he doesn't do any of that shit. Like he he's not promoting himself outside of any kind of combat sports. It's just and like he hasn't been part of UFC in ten years. It's it just like when I see um guys from the NFL Today show um talking about the WWE draft, I'm like, why the fuck do I care? And I only know about Terry Bradshaw because I live in Pittsburgh, mm-hmm. right? That's it. Yeah, yeah. That it's exactly the same thing. Mm-hmm. And Dave Dave Potter saying most people in that crowd did not know who Cain Velasquez was by sight. It's okay, he's got a Tron now. <laughs> so. No, but like legitimately, if you put a picture of Cain Velasquez next to like honestly, they're on WWE's Instagram, they're showing a random uh uh NXT guy who's from Australia who was wrestling at the Australia shows. Mm-hmm. If you put him next to Cain Velasquez with with generic black shorts on, I would not be able to tell you. Who Listen, it. let's disqualify this because we all know that the highlight of the night is going to be Mansoor. Mansoor? Oh, who the fuck is Mansoor? Exactly. Didn't he? Did he, uh, he won the greatest battle royal ever. Did he? Oh, was that yep. last year? Oh, yes, he won. He oh, that's right. Ooh. He, he, no, he won the, the biggest the biggest battle royal, not the greatest royal rumble. Yeah. Greatest royal rumble was Braun. He won the biggest battle royal ever. Nice green belt that isn't twenty. Nope, he did not even get a belt. Well, he got a belt. He just didn't. No, he, no, he did not get a belt. Braun got a belt. No, that, that, that was talking about Braun. Okay, yeah, Mansoor okay. received. I, I intended to speak on Braun. Mansoor not got Mansoor. the job once on NXT. He that did. was his reward. He did. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to the business, pal. Uh, so hot dog and a handshake. Uh, by the way, we have a great picture. I don't know if we put this out yet, but we have a picture of uh, Tej of Rise Wrestling. Uh, shaking hands with a hot dog. Wait, what? At RWA. <laughs> it is fantastic. Shaking hands with, with, a hot a, with the hot dog. No, he was dressed in the hot dog get up. No, no, no. That should be that should be the It next was a child dressed as a hot dog shaking hands with him. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. 
That that should be the that oh, should be the next man. um mix match challenge champion. <laughs> hot, hot dog and handshake. Hot dog and handshake. Hot and, dog and handshake. And it's um it's uh Mark Henry's baby boy. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh god. Guys. I'm surprised the young bucks have not come up with a finisher called hot dog and a handshake. Hmm. I can tweet them right now. Like, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> what uh hey, hey guys. In exchange for this idea, could I be on the show tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Do you need... How does their extra talent work out? By yeah. the way, uh, you got, when you when you guys are there tomorrow, count the run-ins. Count just, the run-ins? Yeah, just do a little social experiment. Run-in right? city. And we'll see count. AEW Dark, and I've not caught up on the last two weeks of it. So oh, nice. Just, I, just, I don't even know if that show matters. But, matters no, no, it's, it's spot matches. Yeah. It's mostly spot matches. Like for but, some, when, but wins and losses matter, sort of. Well, well, I mean, they made they count there, but I mean, I mean, I don't. <laughs> no, I'm, I wins and losses matter, Sorg. That's Damn what I've been told. I don't know, man. I watched. One I've been episode. told it's a revolution, Sorg. <laughs> it's a goddamn revolution. <laughs> That's when we know we're in fucking trouble, right? Where's my revolution? Why did someone with no wins get a potential championship? What match? about me? So what about Ray? I, by the way, I was worried about Ring of Honor because. I still am. I, okay. Generally, I'm worried about Ring of Honor. Yeah. But uh, I was excited. You know, obviously Shane Taylor is going to be here, and and that's going to be a bit of a homecoming for him as well. Mm-hmm. Done a lot of stuff here in the Pittsburgh area, and I think maybe first time in town with the Ring of Honor title or TV title. Mm-hmm. And uh, we are also getting Dragon Lee. Nice. So that has piqued my interest, and also free photo op with the villain. So uh, there's a challenge of the Mayhemers in Pittsburgh. Uh, whoever has the most inventive villain picture. Uh, uh, I'm doing this villain thing. <laughs> um, also, I'm a big uh, Marty Scroll where, fan. So. Okay, where are your right. Wrestling Mayhem Show merch. You should get a. You should get a. Give him a violation. Oh, <laughs> hey, you gave Mick Foley a violation. It would, that is a thing that happened. Even if he calls me a fucking numfie afterwards, oh, I'll probably be fucking sad. Fucking numfie? Is that what he calls people? Yeah. When you do something, I'm like, here's a so, violation. And again, I'm having trouble keeping up with Ring of Honor. Right. I need to. I I need to watch Impact in the next couple of months for a reason. Uh, and and it's it's one of those like I I'm excited to see that he is six still six man champions with PCO and yeah. I forget who the other guy is the other the other villain guy I'll learn it soon uh but <laughs> it's too much wrestling it's too much wrestling PCO oh my god PCO and Ring of Honor is great yes PCO is great yes uh, last night I saw him PCO was when he had that horrible eye injury <laughs> guys what'd you learn from wrestling in this week. Stuff. <laughs> wow. I know. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. The worst answer ever. Sorry. Ronnie <laughs> is never prepared. Never prepared to answer this question. Uh, let's see here. I learned that children like Sin Cara. Uh, uh, well, I learned that some people have shitty theme music. <laughs> Uh, hey, since you uh, since you were on last, you learned what the main event boots taste like. Oh, shut up! <laughs> that hurt. Yeah, I, uh, I was so far in the air, and they didn't even do like the throw up in the air move. Oh no, I refused. I would have loved to see that. No, <laughs> I said, how far can we toss Ronnie? I said no to that, dude. I, I'm telling you, man. I've seen them do that. They they they'll take somebody, and and I think. Like Gannon will throw one up, one person up uh, in the air, and then like they'll catch him with something, it, do something crazy. And I've seen like Megan Myers just shoot off of my hard cam screen. It's it's incredible. I I was asked what finish I wanted to take, and I said not that. <laughs> and they're like, we have this, and I'm like, perfect. And actually, uh, it was the easiest bump I ever took. Yeah, yeah. Good guys. Yeah, good guys. They are good guys. Um, man, Mike, what you learn? Uh, I've learned that NXT may not get the ratings, but they are a higher quality show. Agreed. Mm. Um, Tina learned that uh, the NXT house shows are fairly quiet, quieter now. Uh, a good show with uh, Street Profits and Finn versus uh, Undisputed Era as the main event. Nice. So, yeah, yeah. So, with, yeah, Street Profits moving up. Um, man, those guys... <laughs> That, that is oh, I also boy, learned. Don't don't grab a random baby. 
Who grabbed a random baby? Oh, you didn't see no, this? Mon- Montez. Mon- uh-huh. Montez Ford. I it's know like you the la- It's the last shot of Raw last night. Why would you grab don't, a child? Don't, don't grab someone else's baby. Why would he do that? Well, he wanted to celebrate. That's he, a... he brings the swag like nobody can. But, but don't, unless you know that person and have prearranged mm-hmm. said baby grabbing. Well, you don't know if that lady don't was grab, like, no, no, Montez, take my baby. Sword, like, you know how like, sword, like girls, sword. like fans are like, have my baby? Maybe she's just sword. like, have watch, my baby. Take watch my baby, that please. again. Sorg, watch that again. She did not want to give Montez that baby. Oh, no. <laughs> I think somebody had a, had a talking to with HR after that. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, do th- This just goes out to everyone. If you see a baby, don't grab it. Don't grab, um, it. Don't grab that baby. <laughs> no shit. Unless you get ex- in, ex- baby grabbing consent. No, all right. T- Tina, Tina. <laughs> Tina. Tina's telling me to shut my face because it was a cute gift. And yes, it was. It could have gone very badly. It could yeah. have live on TV. It could have gone very, very terribly also, wrong. Also, second, uh, second note. That was a very small baby to be bringing to something with it's a large very pyro. Very tiny baby. Yeah. yeah, that was a tiny baby for a Monday very Night Raw. T- now, now, if Montez knows that person, knew where they were sitting, and had prearranged, I'm going to celebrate with your baby. <laughs> hey, Susan, I'm taking that your is, baby. So, all right. Basically, I'm suggesting that the baby was a plant. Mm-hmm. I'm so- <laughs> Let's hope it was a plant. It's, it's a plant baby, also called a cabbage patch kid. <laughs> Was it a real child though? Like yes, are we it was 100% a real child. Real child? Yes. Okay. Yes. No, but but if you don't know the person, don't grab that baby. Don't grab the baby. Obviously. Don't grab um, the baby. <laughs> Unless you ask. If you ask, like, hey, can I hold the baby? And they say yes, then by all means, grab that baby. So be like, give me a goddamn kid. Don't do that. No. No, I just went to a baptism this weekend. Like, there were babies being passed around, but there was always consent <laughs> it just for the babies being passed around. It just oh, didn't God. sound like there's a good a, way to put it. There's a lot of bad context clips out of this. Um, You're welcome. Now You're we learn about that. I, I self, also pass babies around. Hey, I think I think the ref stole a baby at uh, RWA as well. So. Or child. Well, it's not. The, a, it wasn't Rev. a young baby. It wants. was a child. Oh, it could have been his kid. I don't know uh, what's going on. Whatever anymore. Rev does, I approve. <laughs> I actually gave Rev a task while he was in Orlando. Oh yeah. Uh, he, <laughs> have you seen these pictures? He. Uh, is he, I know, is he seriously fantastic. just at Disney World with Chris Taylor? <laughs> well, Chris Taylor's getting married this week. Okay. Oh, okay. And he's actually marrying them. Oh, at Disney World. At Disney World oh. Yes. So I gave my buddy Rev a challenge. Yeah. Week. Yeah. Uh, I wanted him to cut a promo on Gaston. <sighs> and uh, he said he will deliver on this challenge. Fantastic. And he's also going to challenge him to a push up contest. <laughs> so that's all I asked from that whole trip uh-huh. was Rev, dude, please do this for me. He's like, I got you. And I was like, that's what I like to hear. So I hope he delivers. Mm-hmm. I will be very disappointed in my boy Rev if he doesn't do what I ask. Mm-hmm. But you know Rev. He's going to freaking do it. I know it. he's going to do it. And it's going to freaking deliver. And I told him where to and... find Gaston. So he's not hard to find. Well, it, it's it's pretty easy. There's a place called Gaston's Pub. Exactly. And it's in Fantasyland. He could easily yeah, it, find Yeah, it's that. not hard to find him. No, just go toward Ariel's Grotto. It's right there. He like should I... challenge uh, Gaston to a spinning contest as well. <laughs> he's especially good at expectorating. <laughs> That's what I hear. He's also good at decorating. Mm-hmm. I put antlers in all of my decorating. My what a guy that guest on. That's a good way to end the show, guys. I just that is probably it. a good note for that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, Ponder learned that he can easily forget the show. Move to Friday. I didn't because I put a reminder. For mm-hmm. Saturday morning SmackDown, and I missed Saturday morning SmackDown. It's nice. It's nice to be like a Saturday. <laughs> it's taking it easy. I'm gonna throw some wrestling on and see what the fuck happened on SmackDown last night, <laughs> and be like, ah, oh, cool. This is great. This is nice. That's enjoyable. No impact, you know. Be- <laughs> this is exactly what we we're talking about earlier, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just waiting. For it's okay, Storg. I've been living that no impact life for years. 
Oh. Great. I'm just waiting for that TNA one night stand pay per view. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm pumped for it. We're that. not getting into that. That's a whole other thing. You can get the guns and then, versus. And, uh, and it's going to be a trigger me. concept for Mad Mike, so let's do that somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Uh, Ronnie Starks. You guys can find me on the Instagram at the Ronnie Starks. You can find me on the Twitter machine at Starks Wrestling. You can find me on the Book of Faces. Just look for the guy holding this fucking title right here. That's right. And, and me with Mean Mug in the camera. we will be defending that in November at Fight Society Round 5. And you also, in two Sundays, will be in a big blue cage. Yes, I am officially in the blue big blue cage as of today. As of today. Because I hassled Rick about it. Did until not, he finally put me in the goddamn cage. Did not make the poster. <laughs> fucking poster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the goddamn match. I'm over the fucking poster. Ronnie, good. Ronnie. Can you please take a crudely printed out picture of yourself and staple it to every poster at the arena? Well, what I'm, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I I'm love gonna, he I love he thinks that this is a <laughs> a real arena <laughs> when really it's just like a, like this concept I, of there's just like I'm, the poster I'm, all over the place. Uh, he's a Okay, <laughs> you you know it's just it a rundown school that has it's the has, diamond plex. Damn it! All right, then fine. Duct tape it to the fucking backboards that's hanging over the ring. Do there you go. something. There you go. I was just going to take that picture that says, as seen on the Wrestling Mayhem show, and just <laughs> fucking stamp it right in the middle of that poster. I'm like, there, now I'm on the goddamn you, you poster. Should, you should staple it to the side of the cage before the match. I will. <laughs> <laughs> just paper the cage with it. I will. You guys like, can't like, see the match. Like, like someone's looking for their lost puppy. Oh, if you guys geez. hate the red light, you're going to hate these posters oh, hang no. on the cage. Oh, God, if there's, like, a big blue light, I'm going to quit Black Diamond filming. <laughs> Don't give Rick that idea. Because <laughs> you know he'll fucking idiot. do it. I know, I know. I'm uh, actually... Yeah, we should also say, down for glory This was this weekend. Was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ken Shamrock did a thing. Oh, Ken, Ken Shamrock. Shamrock. Ken wow. Shamrock. Hey, that was the only thing I know about Bound for Glory. Good to see Ken Shamrock that, wrestling uh, again. A, camera, a cameraman died, and uh, Cody Deaner is looks like J Joey Ryan. A cameraman died? Well, he got pretty not He great. got messed up. I, mean, I pretty, mean, we saw a cameraman he got, die. He got pretty There was an extreme close-up. Yeah, uh, um, uh, Carlin's uh, tagged me in that because he was like kind of standing in the middle, yeah. as they do on the on the they do this on this pro these productions in general. But you know, somebody went hit the ropes, kicked out something, and just completely took out the camera. So <laughs> my response is, that's why I tell you guys not to stand there. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what's up with the dude who looked like Joey Ryan? Oh, they mislabeled him as Cody Deaner. So, and then Cody Deaner retweeted and said, "This is my heel turn." And that that's why that happened. Yes. I was like, what yes. uh, Cody Deaner. And, and wait, also, wait. Joey Ryan showed up, didn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah, no, he was. Yeah, he was there. To, 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 it was to, him. To and everything. flip Dick. To flip Dick, because he's officially signed. Yeah, officially signed. Uh, so had good things to say about. So well, we'll see. We're never, get, we're never getting Lucha Underground season five. <laughs> no, I think. Funny story. Uh, the owner of Lucha Underground just added me on Facebook. What? Yeah. Wait. Uh, Who? Robert Rodriguez? Yeah. What? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. I don't think it's really him. No, he has like 5,000 friends. Yo, okay. Yeah, well, I'm tell glad, him, I'm tell glad him we he... want more Lucha Underground. No, I mean, I'm glad cool. you're in the minority. Uh, Message him. Be like, An hello. An Antonio Carido. Message him and say wrestling. Guido? Man. Yeah. He is the sports director of Lucha Underground. What? Owner and operator. Who, who are you Lucha talking about? Yeah, Hold on. We're going to sign off here and we're going to have an intervention yeah. with Ronnie Starks. Mad Mike's at Mad Mike 4883. YouTube.com slash poppy. Slash Triple H's uh, workout playlist. Yes. That's right. Sorgatron on the Twitter. Check out everything. And a brand new wrestling podcast will be launching this Friday on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed and Sorgatron Media Master Feed. Go subscribe to those so you get all the great podcasts. Hashtag book Ronnie Lucha. Uh, so uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, tuning in, hanging with us, and sometimes laughing at our jokes and humoring us. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time to attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.